how can you become equally familiar with the voice of God? Well, here are two ideas. First, give God your waking thoughts. With your head still in your pillow and your eyes closed, offer God the first seconds of your day. Say something like, thank you for a night's rest, or today I belong to you. C.S. Lewis wrote, and I quote, the moment you wake up each morning, all your wishes and hopes for the day rush at you like wild animals. And the first job each morning consists in shoving them all back, in listening to that other voice, taking that other point of view, letting that other, larger, stronger, quieter life come flowing in. Got it? Number two, give God your waiting thoughts. The mature married couple has learned the treasure of shared silence. They don't need to fill the air with constant chatter. Just being together is sufficient. So try being silent with God. Psalm 46 verse 10 says, Be still and know that I am God. Awareness of God is the result of stillness before God. In John 17 verse 21, Jesus prayed that they may be one Father just as you and just as you are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us so that the world may believe. Answer these three questions. When are you most deeply aware of Christ's presence in you, as he promised? And to what degree have you consciously invited him to be more and more at home in your heart? And the third question, how has your, how has your practice of intimacy with God developed in the last few years? Those are leading questions, developing questions. So the word for you today is make prayer a priority.